first thing is, stay away from them. Stay inside. I know, I know. But stay inside, that's the first thing to do. And um, they tend to bite in this portion of the country. Uh, we tend to have mosquitoes bite in the morning hours and in the evening, so dawn and dusk. If you can, don't go out in those times. If you are going to go out, cover up. And the recommendation is long sleeve shirts um, that are closed at the top and long pants. That doesn't work very well when it's 90 degrees out and very humid and very uncomfortable. People tend not to do that, but that is the recommendation. Obviously, light clothing, and that will keep the mosquitoes off of you. Um, staying indoors during those times and air conditioning will keep you comfortable and you won't have a problem. For people that don't have that luxury, make sure your screens are intact because the mosquitoes will get in the house through uh, holes in the screen. So now's the time to take a look and make sure all the screens in the house are intact, especially in the children's rooms. That's where people, they don't worry about themselves, but they worry about their kids. So make sure the screens are okay. And if, they're, if they, they need a repair, repair them. That'll keep the mosquitoes outside. If you're going to go outside, then the recommendation is for DEET. Um, and DEET can be used in everybody over the age of two months, including pregnant women. Uh, you cannot put insect repellents on children two months of age or younger. After two months of age, you can put DEET on anywhere between a 10 to 30 percent concentration um, once a day and then after two you can use it a little bit more frequently. Uh, for adults uh, DEET works very very well. If you're going to go out into the woods, if you're going to be going camping and those types of things where there's a lot of mosquitoes, you can uh, also get clothing that's uh, uh, um, treated with permethrin and you can buy permethrin at any outdoor store. Uh, that sells outdoor equipment and that type of thing. You can get it and you can spray it on yourself. And they do have certain places you can actually buy permethrin impregnated clothing. And I have done that myself. And uh, it's good for like 50 washes and the permethrin is, is into the fabric. And that's very helpful if you're going to be going out in the areas where the mosquitoes are, are pretty prominent. Um, if you don't like deep the smell, the second recommendation is for something called Picardin. Um, and it's available under a bunch of brand names. Uh, have to put it on more frequently, that's what makes it inconvenient. If you don't like the smell of DEET, which some people don't, you can use this uh, Picaridin, and uh, it, it's, it's helpful. I think the brand name is a Keratin, and uh, it's not as effective. It's gotta be put on more, more frequently, but you can get by with it as well. Um, the things that don't work um, are uh, botanical oils, and electronic devices emitting high-pitched noises. That the, the, Both of those are very ineffective. Citronella can help, can be effective. It's much less effective than DEET and the picaronin. Um, it has to be put on frequently. And the problem with citronella on the skin is it can sensitize your skin and you'd be more apt to get rashes, So, which is a problem in the summertime anyway. So people have to be aware that there is some price to be paid for using citronella. Uh, the citronella candles, et cetera, I mean, they're going to be somewhat effective, but they should not be the primary mechanism of prevention. If you're going outside and sitting on the back porch and you have citronella candles, um, you're probably not.